Hey, welcome back to our blog. We, uh, today we're going to talk about more new construction, but I just wanted to let you know Yahoo News says July new home sales failed to the slowest pace on record, period. We're down 5% from the year before, but you know what? We're booming. We're, we got a lot of stuff going. We got a lot of houses we built. We are actually going into, if I count it all up, we're going into uh, February of 2011. And you might ask yourself why. You know what? You get a good product at a fair price and you're going to get them sold. We got a great product at the lowest prices in town. So if you're thinking about building, now is the time to do it. Now let's get to our new construction uh, building of a house, okay? We talked about the foundation, we talked about waterproofing of the house, and now we're going to talk about the structure itself. When we get the foundation put down, we'll have anchor bolts, and these anchor bolts will actually take a plate like this, which is treated, and it'll bolt it to the foundation. And that's what's going to hold that house tied down to the foundation in case of high winds or even tornado activity. Once that's bolted down, then we put the plate on, then we put the studs up. The studs are what uh, the uh, vertical uh, members that will hold the roof up and over the second floor. And in this case, we do the wind bracing on the corners like this. A lot of builders, all they'll do is they'll put plywood on the outside. That's what we call cutting the corner. This is the old-fashioned way of cutting it into the 2x4, nailing it directly to the wall, and that way it keeps this wall from backing. It's not that the studs aren't going to fall down, it's going to take the wind and everything else. Now the other thing that's important about doing it this way, we didn't put a wall sheathing on here. This is a foam board, and this foam board is over top of all the wood. And so it creates a thermal barrier so the cold doesn't come through the plywood to the two bys into the drywall into your house. You've got an actual thermal break in the house. So when you're going to build a house, make sure you get thermal breaks put into your house. Like I said, the majority of builders don't do it that way. That's why I represent Carson Custom Homes. That's why we're busy, and that's why we want to talk to you about building a house. So give us a call, 680-2500. We'll talk about building you a house, okay? See you next time.